This section is all about network cabling, and so it only makes sense to kick off our discussion talking about the importance of network cabling. And I want to spend a couple of minutes to talk about this because when a lot of people think about networks, they don't focus on the cabling, but instead they focus on the hardware. They focus on the routers, the switches, the firewalls, and all the devices that connect to the network. And in fact, in this class so far, we really haven't talked about network cabling at all. We focused on all the other aspects, but we haven't focused on this yet. So we're going to spend a couple of minutes and we're going to talk about why network cabling is important. So why is it important? Well, first of all, it's important because it's the backbone of your network. And you need your cabling to be set up properly. You need to choose right cabling and you need to make sure that it's functioning properly for your network to operate. And if the cable doesn't work, meaning it doesn't operate properly, it doesn't meet your requirements, or maybe it's just broken then your network's not going to work either. And then lastly, you know, we've moved to wireless networks and a lot of people have wireless networks set up in their organizations, in public spaces like Starbucks and in their homes. But we need to remember that a wireless network also uses cables too. And so at some point in that network, there's a physical cable that plugs into that wireless device. And if that cable isn't working, or if it doesn't meet the right requirements, then that wireless network is not going to work either. So for all these reasons, that's why network cabling is important. And that's why we're gonna spend time in this section and we're gonna be talking about network cabling. So let's go ahead and get started with that in the next lecture.